What's up everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras. It is the day after we got back from Mini Mayhem and it was a ton of fun. We had uh, 115 people sign in on our check-in sheet, but I know we had at least 10 more than that. So maybe 125 to 130 people total show up, which I am very pleased with considering the forecast called for thunderstorms. Thankfully, we only had like 20 minutes of rain the entire time. No thunder, no lightning. It was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of our projects did pretty poorly. The uh, GY6 uh, powered uh, Yerf Dog did pretty good, but it had some breakdowns. It was uh, the first time out. Uh, we had carburetor issues. We had a CDI box fail on us. And the tires, the turf tires did not do well in mud. No. Moving on to the ATV. We never fixed the jetting on the carburetor. So, so it ran it, terribly. It was running terribly. The monster truck also did pretty well. It's still very tippy. And then finally, the Coleman CT200U with the uh, Coleman Performance Kit from Go Power Sports, uh, like the it's basically a stage one kit plus a torque converter. Uh, it did really, really well, and a 60 tooth sprocket. Uh, this thing is always very reliable. This thing is like the old school Willys Jeep of the mini bike world. It's simple but it keeps on trucking. So with all that being said, again, it was a ton of fun tearing it up with you guys out there. And a lot of our stuff did break down or didn't do too well, but conditions were a lot muddier than usual. And that's kind of what this event is all about. Just taking your untested stuff out there and seeing how it does up against uh, mud holes and uh, you know a dirt drag strip and just all kinds of different off-road terrain So thank you guys so much again for coming out and we will see you at the next one in the fall We're thinking October 2019 we will give you more information as soon as we decide on a weekend We really have our work cut out for us uh, in terms of upgrading our existing products But today we are gonna start with the GY6 Yerf Dog spider box Yeah, what was going on was I was riding it and it would uh, load up try to cut off and stall so I had to carry a wrench around with me and whack the carburetor to get the float bowl to come back up or the needle valve to uh, get a piece. Of, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's flooding out. We need another carburetor. And we have one from GoPowerSports.com. Thank you, GoPowerSports. Another thing we have is a new belt. We have a new belt and we have new rollers. So apparently the rollers and the clutch are one of the only things that wear out in these engines. Um, we're going to replace them. So we never got the carburetor problems that this was having on camera. So let's go for a ride. We can do a top speed run at the same time. Sounds good. It's pretty torquey. Yeah. Hit it. See that max speed? I like this part right here. <laughs> yeah, it actually spins the tire. Yeah, this thing is wicked. Another bad thing is that it'll bog down if you sit in it, sit too long. It'll bog down when you pull throttle. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, and it's dead. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Okay. And so what, so it has a, the float is stuck or something? Or what do you think it is? Either we have a uh, float that's sinking or sticking, or we have a needle valve with a bad tip. We've been meaning to look into performance upgrades for this 150, but we've been so busy with uh, getting ready for the event and then the actual event. This is the first full day we've been back But I've been meaning to look into uh, Performance mods for this engine because dude, it's I mean it, it's a beast right now. So we have one Phillips screw on the on Intake piece. arm It got a little dirty, but uh, it wasn't too bad. It, I think the positioning was pretty good. Yeah, right there. I think so And we got the fuel line on it I guess I'll pull it off and make a little bit of a mess. All right, dude. So let's uh Throw this other carburetor on. They look exactly the same. Just the one on the right is a lot cleaner. <laughs> yeah. And we have this electrical, which is like way longer than what we need. 
but that's the way it was. Um, that's the way it came, I guess. The old carburetor was that long, too. There we go. Finally. All right, dude. Is that it? That's it. Let's turn on the fuel. Yeah, let's see if it'll run. Better. It sounds happier. Yeah. There's no bog. So we have some new shocks here from Go Power Sports that we're gonna try to throw on here. They are longer than uh than what's on here, so we need to be sure that it doesn't mess up the suspension geometry. But uh, if we get lucky, we're gonna be able to pick up some ground clearance because the front of this thing is like weirdly low. low to the ground. Here's, here's my yeah. and there she blows. Still, wow. I mean, I say we uh, take those uh, both ball joints loose, the tie rods loose, uh, yeah. put the springs in it, yeah. and See set her down. At. Okay. See what it looks like. Dude, that is a heck of a lift, bro. I think that's about right. I like it. Yep. It's a heck of a lift. Not a whole lot, Ooh. huh? I'm going to help it settle a little bit. That's good. So there doesn't seem to be any reasonable way to put the new shocks in here. Um, they're just a little bit too long. They're 12 inches from middle uh, bolt hole to middle bolt hole. These are about nine and three quarters from center to center. Um, you could probably get away with like a 10 or a 10 and a half and it'd be a lot easier uh, to fit in there, but just the ones we have are not gonna work. So we are going to lift it using the uh, factory shocks by just relocating the bottom mount. So what I got here, buddy, is uh, a way of bolting on a lift on this go-kart. Yep. Yes. Uh, we have these uh, spindle arms from Go Power Sports. I was going to weld them on, but now I'm going to bolt them on because we can always take it back to original. All right, buddy. I'm done. That looks pretty good. It, it is lifted. It's a little something. It's a little something. Wow, we are really, we're bottom, bottoming those guys out pretty easily. Yeah. You want to go ahead and stiffen it now or just... No, it actually feels good. Okay. The bottom was about like right here. I can move my thumb up. Yep. So it's... Yeah, three inch. Three inch yeah, lift. or so. Yeah. That's, Solid. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty quick and easy too. It wasn't too bad, man. Those, those uh, brackets, they, they, I think they work pretty good. Yeah. And so the rollers we're going to replace are in that front one, right? They're in the front one. All right. I'm going to use the table over here. All right, dude. That's it. That's a piece of cake. Dude, it's so easy. So we are going to go ahead and install the new belt. The old one looked like it was in pretty good shape still, but... Yeah. Might as well put this new one on it. I did a big no-no. Used one of those? No, no. What I should have done, as I was spinning this over, I should have disconnected the coil. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that thing could have cranked up with my fingers in it. So, you should probably disconnect the coil, guys, before you do Stuff like this. a belt Turn installation. Over. Yeah. yeah. So, now that we got this thing ready to ride. Yep. Paper, rock, scissor? Yeah. All right. You ready? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh dear. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got him. Dang! Yes! Yeah. Do something about that. Alright, what's the top speed before? 32.3. Alright, 
32.6. So he picked up 0.3. Yes. But it's something. It, Alright, what is going on? I heard a clunk. I felt a clunk. Um we, we made the alignment worse, which is gonna cause it to Speed uh, slow down. That is true. So we probably did gain some more miles per hour, but maybe like one. <laughs> maybe one or two, but the uh, toe is way off. Terrible. Terrible. So uh, But it doesn't matter in the dirt, am I right? Well, less. Yeah. But it'll make it pretty darty. How would you, uh, what do you do? Uh, just go through there. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We'll be fine. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I might try the Peyton Pass. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm totally gonna regret it, but no, no, uh, you won't uh, regret it. Right. Let me get out. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> he did it! He did it! <laughs> Let it roll back a little bit. It's like Busco all over again, dude. Let it roll back a little bit. It won't. Okay, just go for it, buddy. Why is it dying? Because the idle, I idled it down oh, too right. low. I guess I should idle it up. I sent it. You did send it, sir. And you almost made it through. Yeah. It did okay. We could use a more aggressive tire at this point. Yeah. And we still need to install that reverse box. We need to look into uh, cost of just that rear shaft that's bent uh -huh. versus a new engine. Right. Uh, a so new, bigger performance new bigger engine. engine. Exactly. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and let us know in the comments what GY6 should we be looking at if we want to uh, go faster. I know there are like tons of them out there, there's a lot of aftermarket out there, but let us know your personal favorite. Um, yeah, subscribe to Cars and Cameras, uh, Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Pick up a shirt at cars-cameras.com, help support us. We'll see you next time. Before we go, we're gonna do one more thing on this Yerf Dog Spider Box. So when we lifted it, it changed the suspension geometry a little bit and it is towed in, meaning that the tips of the tires are pointed towards each other, kind of like it's cross-eyed, if that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Um, so uh, the tie rods are adjusted all the way in, meaning that we can't like, basically we can't uncross-eye it without either changing tie rods or cutting and narrowing the tie rods. So take a guess at what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our uh, little Sawzall, cut it, weld it back together, it'll be fine. We are donezo, sir. Sweet, we, we just, just need to do the uh, alignment. Yep. Awesome. That's probably good enough, man. Yes, sir. We can fine tune it when we get more ball joints, but uh, for now, I think we're done with this thing. All right, uh, next up, monster truck, maybe whatever you think, but we got some pretty sweet ATV tires for them. Bigger, uh, that's gonna up the top speed, they're gonna be grippier. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a beast.
Thanks again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. See you next time.